I think today is going to be absolutely fantastic! Whoa! Here you go! I didn't order strawberry scones, I ordered strawberry tarts! Ugh. Look, it's clumsy berry batter cake! Sorry, Custer! Well, then who has my scones? for repair. Mm. Oh, I guess we're walking home. What? Oh, come on! Hey, hey, it's my favorite niece and roomie. How's your day? Uh, fine. Great. What a day. Hmm. Huh. Anything exciting happen at work? No. Strawberry, did you have a bad day? What? Me? A bad day? <laughs> come on. A mixing bowl is half full kind of berry. I, I always look on the bright side. And today was, it, it was. It's okay to have a bad day. It was awful. But I'm strawberry shortcake. I'm sweet. I'm optimistic. I can't have a bad day. It's just not who I am. Look, every berry has bad days. There's nothing wrong with that. Sounds like you've got the bad day blues. Bad day blues? <laughs> Some days are not the best, nothing goes your way. They put you to the test, you lose no matter what you say. So just accept it, I tell you this, it's true. It's okay to be not okay, okay to have a bad day blue. And really, I don't think this There's is... There's nothing you can do, but push on through. It's gonna get better, I promise you. Okay. So make yourself your favorite meal. Grab a blanket, <gasps> kick them. Okay, how are you feeling? Well, still not great. But I guess it's okay to feel not great once in a while. Exactly. The bad days just remind you how good the great days are. As long as we're embracing the bad day, there's still a couple pints of ice cream in the freezer. Oh, way ahead of you. Not my first bad day, I'll tell you that. Phew. You know, the bad day blues taste pretty good. Uh, whoop, okay, and the... Uh, oh. oh, I'm totally off my game. The peculiar purple pie man, my baking hero, and the genius behind those purple pie shops on every corner of the city moved into the berry works. That should be the best thing ever. <laughs> hey there! <laughs> hey, never mind. <laughs> Except he barely notices me. You okay, Shortcakes? You haven't been yourself since the peculiar purple pie man moved in. Your energy is way off. I know, I'm sorry. I thought if I ever met one of my heroes, we'd become best fairies, you know? Share baking tips, gossip until the sun goes down. You won't even talk to me. You're putting too much importance on somebody else's opinion. Your emotional well-being shouldn't be dependent on somebody you hardly know. What? I don't like feelings, but I understand them. Lemon's right. You don't need every berry to like you. We like you because we know you. You're right, Hawk. Uh, 
I am? If the pie man gets to know me, he'll like me. I'm totally likable. <laughs> I just have to prove it to him. <laughs> she almost got it. Snazzy apron! Hey, Mime! Have you read My Peculiar Purple Life by the Purple uh. Pie Man? Oh. You and me, could it be a friendship recipe? You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> right there with you, sad souffle. What's wrong with Strawberry? She can't get over the fact the Purple Pie Man doesn't like her. We're trying to come up with ways to cheer her up. Oh, pfft. she doesn't need cheering up. She needs scent smacked into her with a spatula. <gasps> I'll do it. Get it together. Who cares what the Pie Man thinks? Well, what if he doesn't notice me because I'm not worth noticing. <sighs> Get over it already. You've been the most confident Barry I have ever met since the day you got here. Nothing I tried could stop you. That's true. You didn't get all mopey when we first met, and I didn't like you. Yeah, but with you, my strawberry senses were tingling. I knew you'd come around. Well, I did. Why else would I be standing here acting all sweet and caring? <gasps> You're right! Obviously. I need to stop worrying what other berries think. Just be the berry I know I can be. Exactly! Because eventually, every berry will like me. Well, that's not exactly... Listen up! I don't need to prove anything to you. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. You're about to find out just how awesome I can be. Have this muffin! Or don't! Either way, I made it and it's delicious! <sighs> she almost got it right. Tell me about it. I never thought I'd see this, but it is nice to have the annoyingly happy Strawberry Shortcake back. Who's the best berry? I'm the best berry! Making it happen, baby. Ooh, ah. Wow, she really is a lot, isn't she? Oh. Want to rise above the rest? Do you have what it takes to be a peculiar purple protege? <gasps> I've been wanting to find a way to show the Purple Pie Man how fantastic I am. And now he's looking for a right-hand berry. What, what? <laughs> Wait, you all want to be the Purple Pie Man's protege? Duh! An opportunity like this could jumpstart my baking career. It would be very educational. I just want to watch every berry fight. What? We're not going to fight with each other over a job. Prepare to fight with each other over a job! One of you lucky berries will soon earn the rare privilege of shadowing yours truly, all expenses unpaid. Which is applause-worthy. <laughs> Show me your very best! Winning is everything! Losing is for losers! Now, let the competition begin! Balance your duties and keep me on your mind at all times. A smart berry is always a front runner. <laughs> Shoulder the load so I don't have to. Yes! <laughs> I love a determined berry who's not afraid to show she's better than the rest. Oh. <laughs> Jump through any hoops I tell you to! I like a berry who flows while her friends stumble. <laughs> Divide, conquer, stay number one. Now the final competition. I've lost my keys. They're in that pie! Find them. On your mark, get set, tear it apart! Enough! 
The Berry Works is a place of friendship, community, and inclusion. But look at us. I don't know about you, but if this is how to succeed in baking, by being mean and competitive and covered in uh, pie filling, then I don't want to be successful. I want to be happy with my friends. What an adorably sweet and naive statement from Snotberry Blortcake. But friends don't win you awards. Friends don't put a pie shop on every corner of Big Apple City. It's a berry squash berry world out there. So you can be sweet or you can be the best. Your call. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I think I can be the best without fighting the people who care about me the most. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ugh, barf. Fine. You can all be losers together. The winner of the competition is... Her. Sour grapes! She didn't even compete! No, but she did enjoy watching you all fight. Also, she's my niece. Yay. You know what? We don't need the purple pie man. Follow me! I've got congrats on not being the purple protege cookies for everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Berryville, one of my favorite Fright Ball traditions was going to Pumpkin Crumble's Pumpkin Patch to pick the perfect pumpkin carving pumpkin. Ha! <laughs> Say that three times fast. The portable pumpkin patch is here. Oh, oh your name is Paul? I love that. I'm Blueberry Muffin. <laughs> nice to meet you. Can't wait to carve this one up. <gasps> I love the smell when you slice them open. I love reaching in and pulling out the pumpkin guts. Oh, let's get carving! Stop! What are you doing? We're carving pumpkins. <gasps> You're monsters! They don't know what they're talking about, Paul. These sweet vegetables have hopes and dreams. They don't want to be carved. I... What? Ugh. Blueberry, I don't... I think carving hurts the pumpkins. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, Paul says it does. Ugh. I love carving pumpkins for Fright Fall, but I really don't want to upset Blueberry. Oh, what to do? They're watching us. So, what's the plan? We could just explain to her that pumpkins don't have feelings. And we're sure about that, right? Hey, just checking. Okay. Let's just talk her through this. Hey, Blueberry, so we... She's gone. Yeah, should have seen that coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, friends. What brings you to this place in the universe? <laughs> oh, you know, we were just wondering where our pumpkins wandered off to. I have no idea. Maybe somewhere where they wouldn't be sliced and diced like vegetables. Technically, they're fruit. Hmm. Fine! Take the pumpkins and go! <laughs> Satisfy your barbaric instincts! The blueberry! It won't be as much fun without you! We just want to make the pumpkins look cool for Freyfall! And must you carve them? Well, um... Actually... Oh, no, I guess we don't. don't work for every berry. That's why we make new traditions. It's not what you do that matters, it's who you do it with. Wow, these turned out great. And they're all in one piece. Hey, every berry, check this out. Oh, <gasps> uh, what? Is this a dream? Am I naked? 
Ah! <sighs> oh, wow. Was I ever wrong? Pumpkins love being carved. It makes them feel special. <laughs> Boy, pumpkins are hard to understand. I'm much better at speaking sweet potato. <sighs> Human Time Museum is hosting a food truck festival. Blueberry Muffin is gonna meet me there. Cause what's better than cupcakes or ice cream? Cupcakes and ice cream. <laughs> Thanks for tagging along, Orange. Of course. Sometimes it's fun to get out of the berry works and enjoy the sun, the fresh air, the <laughs> traffic. I'm sure we can get around it. <clears throat> berry one to Berry Blue, Orange and I are in a teensy little traffic jam on Apricot Avenue. How's the dreamery creamery? Over. Roger, Roger. Apparently the universe wants me to stay right here on Watermelon Way, but I've got my friend keeping me company, so we're cool. So cool. See? They're cool, we're cool, every berry's cool. <laughs> Let's just find a detour out of this jam. Try that way. You got it. Today, huh? Over there! <laughs> really don't want to be late. Have a whole lot of cupcakes to sell. Oh no! Blueberry's ice cream could melt! She must be freaking out! I'm totally freaking out! Because I love this song! <laughs> Oh, right. Thanks, Blueberry. Huh? Ah. Oh. Here you go for the little one. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. is our new home. We live here now. You, me, and dozens of our little cupcake children. We'll raise them as our own, and we'll never see our friends again. You taste like sunshine and sleepovers. Hey, berries! Blueberry? Huck? Is this some kind of traffic mirage? Are you real? Reality is just a concept. So is money. Oh, look how much we made. Woohoo! Turns out traffic jams make people way hungrier than regular jam. Traffic jams are the best. <laughs> you mean we could have sold the cupcakes here in traffic? Cupcakes, get you! <laughs> Tradition. Running in the Berry Bounty Bolt. Well, winning the Berry Bounty Bolt for Team Orange. Who number one? Orange's family is a little competitive, but I'm sure it's a friendly kind Who's of... Who's ready to come in second place? Well, I hope it's friendly. Okay, give me one good reason we should be up this early. Winning and proving that we are the Berry Bounty bestest? That's a great reason. Look here, Mija. Many cultures run barefoot to increase tread time. Barefoot? But I got us matching limited edition Wick ovens. Look how fabulous they are. Sorry, Dad. I'm with Pops on this one. Fast over fabulous.
fabulous today. Breathe in success, breathe out the doubt. <laughs> Damn it! How are those runaway booties? Ugh. Runway 3000's, Dad. Uh, Dad, what are you doing? Just getting in the spirit. Ugh. Everybody ready? The bolt goes through Golden Delicious Park, down fifth to Times Pear, over the hurdles by Blooming Berries, and finally across the finish line back at the Berry Works. Every family member needs to cross the finish line to come in first place. And may the best fairy win, right? Right? We know who the best berries are, but may the second best berries come in right behind us. Fast and fabulous? Oh, who knew? <laughs> Standing right here, Dad. Get out of my way, Blueberry! This is where the universe wants me to be! <laughs> Not today, shortcakes. On your left! <gasps> Looks like being competitive runs in my family. Get it? <laughs> Wait up, kids! <laughs> Winners! <gasps> we what? won? Ugh. What? Uh, Orange, I hope you all aren't too... That was awesome! We haven't had competition like that in years! You all sure made a step up our game! Can't wait till next year! Whew. Wow, all this friendly competition made me hungry! Bring on the Berry Bounty Banquet! Let's eat! Shortcakes, it's 7 a.m. Seriously? Oh, huh, is a Berry Bounty breakfast a thing? Can we make that a thing? Oh, come on! I've never seen so much snow. What are we supposed to do all day? It's a snow day, we're doing it. A snowstorm is the universe's way of saying, slow down and relax. I need plans, I need to-do lists, I need to be doing something! Ever since the Purple Pie Man moved into the Berry Works, I've had to be on my A-game! I can't relax! I have to come up with more baking brilliance. Mmm. Sock cobbler, anyone? First of all, ew. Second, no berries getting anything done today, so just take it easy. Delivery two. Mrs. Rumcake, Mr. Mangosteen, Peach Trifle. Fly, my pretties! Fly! Nobody is getting anything done except the purple pie man who is selling his frozen pies to all my best customers. Where are you going? She digs fast when she's freaked out. to get in my truck. Do you have an open Sesame 2000? A teleportation device? A rocket launcher? I mean, if she wants to blow something up. Uh, no. Almost got it! <gasps> hey, girl. Listen, I'm always thinking about baking, too. But it is okay to take a day off. Especially when there's nowhere for customers to buy anything anyway. <gasps> You're right, Raspberry! If we want customers to come to us, they need a reason! We'll build a snow oasis! <laughs> that is not what I meant. If we build it, they will come! <laughs> we should probably follow her. I think that's for the best. Ooh, this could be a snow couch in here, a snow chair for two berries to curl up in, and maybe a snow oven? Snow oven on it. Watch and burn.
Snow shop? Nah. Building all this and having fun with my best berries was kind of perfect. Besides, it's nice to slow down and take a day off once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah, if only some berry had said something like that to you earlier. Still don't love that the pie man is selling so many pies today. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. The pie man's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And you gotta be smart operating machines in cold weather. Otherwise... The batteries freeze. Oh, come on! No stress, no pressure. Just have to, you know, get absolutely everything done. There's still so much left to do. Baking, last minute shopping, decorating the clubhouse for our winter swirl party. Picking out the perfect winter swirl tree for my family. Finding a dress for the holiday party. Building bread pudding, a snow machine that turns the berry works into a winter wonderland. There's just not enough time. time! What time does blooming berries close? I gotta get a belt. An engine belt for the snow machine. <laughs> you berries need to relax and enjoy the holidays. We'll enjoy the holidays if we can get everything done in time. There's always enough time. That's what makes winter swirl so magical. Every winter swirl, Cinnamon Swirl flies her cinnamon sleigh around the world. If she can do that in one night, then we can get everything done too. Yeah, but Cinnamon Swirl has magic. And an army of berrykins baking all our treats. I'm not sure there's any magic that can help us get everything done. Oh, I think there is. There's magic in the air. A special magic swirling everywhere. We'll be okay this holiday. It's true that we have so much to do. The real magic here is doing it all with you. So just sing la la la. The holiday's here. The holiday's here and the magic is you. So just sing la la la. The holiday's here. The holiday's here. Done. Pretty magical. Really just good time management. I bet even Cinnamon Swirl would be impressed. Wow! I have a feeling she is. <laughs> Winter Swirl is the most magical time of year. Oh, to be 
be a pet and not have a care in the world. But hey, being a busy berry is a good thing. Every berry is loving Granberry Jam's famous triple berry jelly donut recipe. Mwah! Thanks, Granberry Jam. Without your special card, I'd be lost. Aha! Uh -huh. Without that recipe card, Shortberry Snot Cake would be lost. I need to steal it. Or since you're a baker, you could, I don't know, go with me here, bake something. Once I send Snot Cake into a self-doubt spiral, I'll bake something better than she could dream of. Sour Goose, has my protege helped me steal that card? Strawberry doesn't deserve that. Oh, even after she didn't come to your surprise party yesterday? What surprise party? When Noberry showed up, I didn't tell you about it, because I care. So? Oh, fine. Whatever. Ah! Emergency! Ah! Uh, can I help you? Jelly in a donut. Wowza, how did you come up with that? My Granberry Jam, actually. How interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm sorry, allergic to donuts. <laughs> this is it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake, oh, you, you won the Berry Work Sweepstakes. Go out front to claim your prize. I don't even remember entering a sweepstakes. <laughs> I'm done for today. I knew I didn't sign up for a sweepstakes. Wow. Must have had the wrong berry. Great mustache, though. Oh, thank you, Custard. The most important ingredient is confidence. Love always, Granberry Jam. See? I'd be lost without her special card. Wow. Aw, you've been laying around all day. What are you so exhausted about? The Mint Gala. The fashion event of the season. This year's theme is confection, and my dad designed a dress for Banafi. Banafi? Lime's dad designing Banafi's fresh mint gala dress is huge. I can't wait to see what he's come up with. <gasps> Correct response. Like cotton candy clouds floating in a blue sky, Banafi will slide that runway. As soon as she gets here. I'm sure Banafi's going to love it, Dad. Of course she will. I made it. Yo, fluffy chiffon. Every year he refuses to dress me. And every year his design rules the runway. Oh, but not this year. This year I will rule the pink carpet. Have you seen what you're wearing? It's jelly bean realness. Doesn't matter. Like Grandpa Pie Crust always said, if you can't win fair and square, cheat. My Fluffy, this gown is quite the look, as always. I can't wait to see it on Banafi. Oh! 
My dress! Oh, oh how clumsy of sour grapes this... to bump into me. I... <clears throat> Such a shame. You would almost think this was on purpose if it wasn't so obviously an accident. Oh, well, no use crying over total humiliation. Adieu! <laughs> but Avi can't wear this. I'm ruined! It's okay. We'll save the dress. Lime is right. There's always a solution. We can fix this. <laughs> you should stick to baking. Oh, that's more garden party than confection. Pass! Mm, it's a choice, but not a good one. It doesn't say fluffy chiffon. That says fluffy chiffon! Yeah! <laughs> My cranberry jam always says failure is the first ingredient in the recipe for success. Well, if cranberry jam has a recipe for a stunning runway gown that transcends fashion, send it my way. Tell me you have an amazing idea. I have an amazing idea! <laughs> wow. You did say I should stick to baking. Hello. Banafi! <laughs> uh, before uh, you say anything, I know it's not what we discussed, but... Uh, Stop talking, because I love it! How did you come up with something so delicious? <laughs> I... Pie Man! Pie Man! My man, who are you wearing? Well, no designer is as talented as me, so I... Is that Banafi? What is she wearing? <laughs> Banafi, tell us why you chose this delicious dress. As a trans fairy, I love living out loud as my most authentic self. And I wanted to dress as bold and unique as I am, which, let's face it, is a tall order. With Fluffy Chiffon's help, I found two brand new designers who blew me away. This is a Shortcake Chiffon original. Strawberry, lime, what was your inspiration? Well, uh... I guess you could say defying confection. <laughs> hey, hey, Orange, ready to. What? Is everything okay? I can't believe what just happened in the terrific tales of Tangerine Smash. It's so epic. <laughs> What's so funny? It's cute how into it you get. I mean, it's just a comic book. Just a comic book? Tangerine Smash and her sidekick, Guava Girl, have inspired me my whole life. I mean, they're colorful. I guess I just don't get it. Being a super berry means you can make a difference. Make the world a better place. <laughs> well, our world is going to be a better place when we get through these to-do lists. Am I right? Uh, sure. What's more super than a to-do list? Another day. Same stuff to do. It's okay, just push on through. Imagining how different life could be. If I could let my inner hero free. Picture me. A super berry, strong and brave and awesome, oh me. A super berry, watch my powers blossom. Take to the sky, above and away, dazzling the world as I save the day and be. A super berry, I'm on my way, I'll do what's right. I'll save the day, I'll win the fight. Imagine just how great my life would be. Up in the clouds, the world below. Hey, every berry, watch me go. I'll be the perfect hero, guaranteed. Picture me, a super berry, strong and brave and awesome. Oh, me, a super berry, watch my powers blossom. Take to the sky, up, up, and away. Dazzling the world as I save the day and be. It's true. 
truth. The real hero is there inside of you. All the greatness you can be makes you every bit a hero to me. Everywhere you go, everything you do makes you a hero too. So just be a super very strong and brave and awesome. Yeah, just be a super very let your talent blossom. Saving the day, reach for the sky. Get ready, well, cause I'm ready to fly. Shortcakes? What are you doing? I get it. I always say I want to bake the world a better place. Tangerine Smash and Guava Girl do the same thing. Just with more punching. And less pastries. So you like comics now? Well, my very bestie says comic books made her who she is. And she is pretty super. I've always wanted a sidekick. I'll be your Guava Girl anytime. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you, Strawberry. It's my skydiving instructor's birthday today. Oh, dear! My sitter is sick! How can I hit that drop zone with no one to watch Honeydew Sorbet? Sorry, Clammy Clum Cake. I knew you love skydiving. <laughs> now, Berry Sit! I can fill 50 cupcake orders in a day without breaking a sweat. Berry sitting a sweet little berry like honeydew. Total piece of cake. You're sure it's no trouble? Oh, not at all. I would be so happy to. Okay. I so appreciate your help. I'll be back in one hour. You be good! Okay, honeydew. What do you want to. Ah! Yep, that's not good. Hey, strawberry, do you have any. Oh, no. What happened? Honeydew sorbet happened. I'm berry sitting. Oh. I've read tons of books on berry sitting. Bringing a berry, happiest berry on the block, this is the perfect opportunity to put different methods to the test. You clearly need my help. Everything we need to know about berry sitting is in these books. Lime, 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 I'll be fine. She's just a little sprout. What could, oh yeah, she's gone. Huh? Oh. Oh. Yes, rambunctiousness. Speak softly to calm her down. Hi, honeydew. How about we put those... Ah, 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 it's not working. Here, bargain. Offer her something more fun to do. How about we sit quietly and read? No reading! Huh? It's snowing! Don't get mad. Empathize with her. Honeydew, I like to have fun too, but I need that free. What does Mrs. Crumbcake feed that kid? We should support her independence. If we support her too much, she'll destroy the berry works. Come on! Such a handful. <laughs> Same time next week. 
Huh? Oh. Desolate, but with my purple pie storage facility. Uh, uh. Ugh. Part of Anne Praline's job as the mayor's chief of staff is approving proposals for new projects. Even uh. peculiar purple proposals. I'm doing the city a favor, turning that unsightly eyesore into something useful. That eyesore is my lean green garden. The pie man has no right to demolish it. Who's with me? Demolishing a garden? Oh, no, Barry's gonna miss that pile of weeds. I just need the mayor's spunky assistant to give me her approval. I'm the mayor's chief of staff, actually, and I'll need the weekend. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> oh, what an awful man. Stop the pie man! Oh, no hi, more yeah. pie man. <laughs> Hello there, <laughs> strawberry shortcake. Granola crunch. Uh, Lead gardener of the lean green garden. Well, only gardener. Till tomorrow, when the pie man rips it up, unless. Stop the pie man! No more pie Aunt man! Pailey, no is there something no granola can do to stop the pie man from destroying the garden? There is. If Granola can show her garden provides a service to the community, I can stop construction. But she just has the weekend. Up, oh, gotta go, good luck! Hey, Granola, wanna show us this garden of yours? Absolutely! You'll take one look at my garden and run as fast as we can in the other direction. Every berry ready to get this garden into shape? Yeah! <laughs> Leaves and grass get composted. I'll do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Energy efficient equipment only. You know what? I've got it. Drought resistant fruits only. Don't worry. I think I see the problem here. Granola, granola. I can see how um, passionate you are about the garden. But if it's going to be a service to the community, you kind of need to let the community in. But I want everything to be done the right way. Well, everything I know about baking, Sunbury had to show me. You know your stuff. Maybe you can show berries instead of doing it all alone. Berry working together made this place amazing. Oh, I love the smell of tears and demolition in the morning. What is this? This is the all new Lean Green Community Garden. Get off my property! Actually, just got off the phone with the mayor. Seeing the community come together like this, mm, 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 it is clear the garden provides an indispensable service. I'm afraid you'll have to find another spot for your pie warehouse, was it? Pie? Mm, yes. I think we're on the same page, yeah? What was your name again? <laughs> what do I want? A corporate warehouse with my face on it to store frozen pies. When do I want it? No! Nah! <laughs> She thinks chocolate is too expected. The pressure. Poppy Corn, the famous photographer slash filmmaker slash social media superstar, wants me to bake her a cake, which could be huge. Because when she likes something... Obsessed. But when she doesn't... This should not exist. Do not want. Pass. Ugh. Maybe I should say I'm too busy? No way! Let's check Poppy's socials. Says here she loves cute details, precision, the color of Viridian, and... Woo! Check this out, a contest to win her new book. <gasps> Sign me up! I can help with precision. My Lend a Hand 5000 is just the helping hand you need. Be right back. Just stay focused. Take a deep breath in. Stand up straight. Breathe out, Sharky. <laughs> Sorry, I don't usually doubt myself like this. I wish there was a way to know what I should do. Maybe there 
is. Your future is but a palm reading away. Palm reading? Uh, seriously? Actually, research on palmistry does show you can learn a lot from the lines on your hands if you can read them correctly. Ah, book. And that is not correctly. <laughs> of course it is. Book, see? Not really. And what does book say about my future and... Huh? <gasps> I want Poppy Corn's book! <laughs> uh, that is quite a coincidence. Hmm. Do me! Do me! Gold. Oh, you got it dead on. I win all the time. I'm the gold medal kid. Huh? <laughs> all right. Say hello to the Linda Hand 5000. Hmm. Boom. Boom? What boom? Definitely boom. Okay, I believe! Bestow your wisdom upon me, great and wise blueberry. Stop. Stop? That's it? Like, stop baking? I don't get it. Because that's not how you read palms. She was right about my lend a hand going your inventions always explode. I love books. And gold? What does that even mean? What do you think, Blueberry? It doesn't matter what I think. What does Strawberry think? Well, all your readings made sense. So maybe I should stop baking? Is that really what you think? I mean, that doesn't feel like me. I just wanted to nudge in the right direction so I would stop doubting myself. Oh, I get it now! Chocolate. So, is palm reading real? I don't know, but Blueberry did help me realize I needed to stop doubting myself and trust my instincts. And as for Poppy... Sorry, it's a must try. <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out. I'm glad things worked out for Strawberry, but that doesn't mean you were right about palm reading. Gold didn't mean anything for Orange. Hey, look out below! <laughs> more into Lemon's inventions than Lemon is orange. How about a jetpack? I have an alternative. Hey, Plum, what's up? I traversed here to inform you that the Big Apple City Science Museum is holding an inventing competition in the park today, and I deduced that Lemon might be a perfect candidate. Eh, competitions aren't my thing. But they are my thing, and inventing is your thing. This could be a perfect our thing together. Please, it could be so awesome. Uh, I guess. We're in. I'm as giddy as a gigawatt to see what gizmo you devise. We're gonna win this thing. Yay. I wonder who your competition is. Oh, lime tart and lemon tort. Lime, lime, lemon, lemon. I'd say may the best berry win, but that would give us the advantage. Lemon is the best inventor I know. Ha! You must not know many inventors. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Lemon. Welcome, one. Welcome, all. Each team has been tasked with inventing something to help every baker be their very best. Bakers, yeah. are you ready? <sighs> Well, then you may begin! Huh, no, okay. Looks like a robot! We can beat a robot! Oh. <gasps> They're fast! Hurry up! Go faster! Wrench. <sighs> oh. Yeah! Nailed it! A high five? Why are they high fiving? We need something to high five about. Come on! No! We cannot lose! We've gotta get. We've gotta do nothing! I quit! So. What was that all about? We were having fun competing and then Lemon stormed off. 
you were having fun competing. Maybe that's not Lemon's thing. Sometimes I forget, not every berry loves competition quite as much as I do. You're not having fun, are you? Inventing is fun. You pressure me to win, not so much. I got carried away. I'm sorry. I love winning, but I love having fun with my awesome inventor friend even more. If you want to have fun, I have an idea. I give you the big old medic! Oh, ooh, the leftovery fluffy. Next up, lemon meringue and orange blossom. A jetpack! Uh, a jetpack? Well, what does that have to do with baking? Your robot serves one cupcake at a time, but with this jetpack, you can share your baked goods with every berry. How very helpful for a culinary connoisseur like me. On behalf of the Science Museum, I declare Lemon Meringue and Orange Blossom as our winners. <laughs> now this is awesome! <laughs> Coachella is Big Apple City's biggest music festival. So, Blueberry offered to be my food truck placement guru to help me find the perfect spot to set up the extraordinary berry. Here your journey begins. This is the light in the darkness. The what? Oh, smell that? Smellspiration has hit, and I must follow my nose. Have fun. The light in the darkness. Darkness. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. This is the perfect spot. Turbo boost. <laughs> Lime tart and lemon tart, right? I'm strawberry shortcake. You know a lot of the same berries. So uh, you probably didn't see me there. All good. It's all good. But I was actually parked here first, so. The Poachella permit that I'm sure you also have says anyone can park anywhere at any time. Anytime is now. Anywhere is here. <laughs> Maybe there's another anywhere that's not totally blocking berries from seeing my truck? This longitude and latitude gives us the exact location for optimal performance. And this spot is big enough that I can hit the turbo turbo boost! I said one turbo boost only. Seriously, give <laughs> me that thing. <laughs> Or setback, but there's gotta be somewhere else with even more light, right? Here my journey begins. It's the light and darkness! Uh, what's that for? You're parked on a sinkhole! <laughs> it doesn't look like me. Uh -uh. Okay, light. Show me what you... What? what? Okay, no. Sinkholes, no falling trees, no creepy birds. This has to be it! Oh, come on! We needed a bigger spot for the turbo turbo boost. The Pochella permit states. I know what it states! Oh, the festival's about to open. Now I'll never get any customers. Light in the darkness. Yes, yes. I was all over the light! And I still ended up in darkness and totally blocked from the... Oh, I'm in serious need of a snack and shade. Whoa, you open? <gasps> Find the light is finding the silver lining in any situation. Hey, every berry, need a break from the heat? Come get a Pochella pastry and enjoy some cool shade. Clever berry. What? Were you up there this whole time? Yep. I've been boiling cabbage. Mm. <laughs> That's what that smell was? <laughs> I know, right? Total yum. 
Yum! It's my newest ice cream creation! Boiled cabbage and marshmallow cone! Mm. Oh, can you eat that somewhere else? The Pochella permit states you can eat anything, anywhere. Anything is a boiled cabbage marshmallow cone, and, well, you know the rest. Ooh, it's an acquired taste. Ooh, very nice. Oh, we, we love, love chocolate, chocolate croissants. Fred and Lime started a weekly fashion brunch to bond over their mutual love of all things fashion. They're so in sync, they even say the same things. It's adorable. So, so trendy. trendy. So chic. Love. love. And a little creepy. Let's look. Vanity Pear has her dad's waistcoat on the cover. <laughs> <gasps> She's wearing Dad's waistcoat, too! But it's shorter, sleeveless! She changed it? We must meet this vision of style! Hi, I'm Slime, this is Bread. Crepe. Crepe Suzette. Enchanté. Is that a fluffy chiffon waistcoat? Oui, I love the pattern, but the cut it did not work for me, so I made some adjustments. I am an aspiring fashion designer. <gasps> Brett and I love fashion, too. We actually have a fashion brunch. You you could join us if you wanted. Fashion and brunch? Oh, very much, we. Oui. Great, but not now. It's later. Uh, late brunch in, like, an hour? So, lunch. <laughs> yep. Gives me time to take photos for inspiration. See you in an hour. Our brunch is right now. Why? You saw her. We're not trendy enough. We need a better setup, cooler outfits, that's your food. No chocolate croissants. We need avant-garde. I don't know what that means. Look it up. Come on, Lime. We don't have much time. Avant-garde. Oh. We need looks that say cutting edge. Hello? Gorgeous. Brunch in the courtyard is more open. But this is exclusive. A VIP vibe. Hmm. Do you think Lemon would be our bouncer? She can be pretty scary. Did somebody say avant-garde? Ah! Ah! Horrifying. It's perfect. Hmm. Uh, you don't look very excited. I liked our fashion brunch the way it was. But Brad really oh, wants fashion. to impress Crepe. You know what I think you should do to impress Crepe? What? Nothing. You're pretty impressive just the way you are. Fred, about this brunch. Hello? Crepe! Welcome to our fashion brunch. It's au courant. It's on mode. It's... Uh, not what I was expecting. I, uh... Do you not like it? What matters is, do you like it? Brett and I are always trying new ideas, but I think we both agree this isn't really our vibe. Oh, good. You have no idea how often berries try to impress me by pretending to be avant-garde. Oh, you don't say. What kind of berry would do that? <laughs> Shall we go outside for brunch? <laughs> I was afraid you wanted to eat in here. <laughs> I brought chocolate croissants. We love chocolate croissants. Ooh, very nice. Aw, still adorable. Oh, Sacre bleu. bleu. That, that look is tragic. And still a little creepy. Ugh, work at City Hall was brutal. I am as beat as the mayor in today's polls. Huh. The fairy works was slammed. I'm as fried as the fritters I sold out of. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> A cricket? Okay, just ignore it. <gasps> Is that a cricket? Yep. Huh. How did I get past my ultrasonic bug repellent force field? You know, I paid a lot of money to install that thing. Nothing should survive in here. <laughs> Except us. Wow, I did not know Aunt Praline disliked bugs so much. I mean, it's why I left Berryville. Where is it? Where could the little 
old guy. Shh, 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 shh. Listen. Living room? Arcata Domesticus, the house cricket. <laughs> Just the TV. Sorry, David Attenbury. <gasps> Where is the feast? Feast? A uh, little cricket? <laughs> Where is it? Where are you? <laughs> Feels like Aunt Praline is getting a little carried away. <gasps> the air ducts! Come on! <laughs> Not a little, a lot, a whole lot carried away! And really? Um, Sir Chirps a lot is annoying. <laughs> totally. But I just... Oh. It's taunting us. We're gonna beat it. Don't you worry about a thing, Strawberry. Don't you worry. Yeah, I'm not worried about the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> it lured us in and did that on purpose! On purpose? It's the cricket! <sighs> We're trapped. It's... it's the cricket or us! We only have one option left. Atomic Presto Obliterator! Set timer. Get to minimum safe distance. Obliterates on contact! Do not inhale. Maybe lethal. Oh! Fresh tropical breeze scent. I just want the cricket out of here! This is a little extreme. It's left us no joy! Sir Chirps will not be obliterated. I have to save him. No! Strawberry, my only niece! No! No! Oh, how's your night going? Oh, you guys are so cute. Obliteration in 30 seconds. Not today, obliterator! Five, four, three, two, one. Sir chirps a lot. Now you go on, young one. Be free and chirp somewhere far, far away. Bye. <gasps> Where is it? Big bad bug is gone. It's gone now. No bug's gonna hurt you now, Auntie Praline. Okay, maybe things got a little crazy there for a minute, but hey, we made it through and we can finally get some rest. Sleep tight, Strawberry. Good night, Aunt Praline. In Splenda's Big Apple City of a Rooster! <laughs> ah, the sweet sounds of the fairy works. <gasps> this place better be spotless when I get back! Yeah, I guess not all the sounds are sweet. Huh? Never too emotional. Never done and no one to have fun with. Cause I'm not that social. You hear it too, right? No berry sees what I deal with. Wishing I was breaking free. What is it? A classically trained ghost? And no berry knows what I dream of. Hidden deep inside of me. You were singing. Mm, not me. Might have been the cat. I had no idea you were so unhappy. You've met my uncle, Pie Man. Right. Yeah, good point. But if you're unhappy, why not quit? Raspberry tart and bread pudding are friends with you now. Nobody has time for me except Uncle Pie Man. Oh, why are you making that face? Idea Sour felt this way. But now that I know, I can make sure every berry is friends with her. Could there be a more perfect job for me? <laughs> sour, sour, sour. Stop it! You're hilarious! Did you all know how funny Sour Grapes is? <laughs> sour, tell them what you were just... Oh, where did she go? It's fine, it's fine. You're all going to love hanging out with Sour. Even though 
she sang that sad song about <gasps> her song. That's it. Once every berry hears you sing, they'll know how you feel. Ready to wow the crowd, Sour? No. Let me handle this one. I get it. Strawberry can be a lot. But it's because she cares. A lot. And when she's a little too much, you can tell her. She listens. Eventually. Hmm. I don't like being the focus of anything. I just want to be myself around berries I like. Good. Because Brett and I have missed you. We thought you wanted to be with Purple Pie Man. Well, he is family. Yeah, but friends are the family you get to choose yourself. What are you doing down there? <gasps> is the shop spotless yet? Nope. Nope? What do you mean, nope? I quit. Where are you gonna go, with them? I'm the only one who gets you. We may not get sour. I may not get sour. But that's okay, because we accept her just the way she is. Fine, I don't need you. I always land on my... <laughs> Ow. Sour Grapes, you are the best group hug time, am I right? You're at an 11, and I'm gonna need you at like a 1.5. Got it, no hugs. Ah, good. See, she listens, eventually. Once upon a time, a naive country berry moved to the big city. The famous purple pie man said she could be his partner. She just gave him her truck. The extraordinary berry, she did. And he fired her at the end. No happily ever after for this berry. Strawberry, what are you doing? Packing. Big Apple City chewed me up and spit me out. So I'm heading back to Berryville where I belong. You think maybe you're being... I don't know, a little over dramatic. No. Okay, you want to give up and go back home? I won't stop you, but first come with me. And Praline, why are we here? Shortcakes, we heard you were thinking of leaving. This is why that's a really bad idea. With interpretive dance from Blueberry. Huh? The Berry Works has never smelled so good. You really do make the world a better place. And you've got us, your very besties. Big Apple City needs strawberry shortcake. This is sweet, but without a trial? Let me stop you. The Berry Works is trendy. It's chic. And it's my job to keep it that way. You belong here. Sure, this is small, but with four wheels and an oven, it is Berry Works approved. Hey, Strawberry, it's Lemon. I don't want you to go. That oven sounds just like you. Yeah, <laughs> I put microphones in everything. I insist this berry be removed from the premises. Her contract is clear. Ex-employees are to be nowhere near any purple pie shop. That's my truck. No, it's my truck. The purple pie on the fly. Trademark pending. Your Berry Works contract states that vendor disputes are settled by management. With no truck, she's not a vendor. Ugh, fine. I ruined her once, I can ruin her again. <laughs> All right, that's it. Why are you so obsessed with ruining my life? Uh, because to stay famous, I need to crush your spirit before you become competition. So it's because I'm a good baker? Uh, duh. How do you think I got where I am today? I can make my pies as bland as I want. Those Big Apple blockheads will eat anything as long as I make sure they have no better absence. I love my customers. You don't love anything. I used to look up to you. Now I just feel bad for you. Ugh. Are you okay, Shortcakes? I'm great. I just wish every berry could hear what the pie man said about them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What? I said I put microphones in everything. I can make my pies as bland as I want. Those big <laughs> apple blockheads, big, 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 big apple blockheads, make sure they sure. have no better absence. Big apple blockheads, huh? <laughs> what? No. Listen. 
Mommy! <laughs> yeah, his vibe isn't really on brand for the Berry Works. We're terminating his contract. Oh, and look, it says right here in subsection D, once terminated, anything left behind is Berry Works property. Any Berry need a food truck? Ah, so now that you're staying, what are you gonna do next? I have no idea. But with friends like these, it's gonna be awesome. Welcome to the Purple Pie Shop. The pies you love in an all new location. Our current wait time is one hour. For no wait, consider visiting the Extraordinary Berry. <sighs> Again, absolutely zero wait. <laughs> Shortcakes, we love all these leftover treats, but we're stuffed. I don't get it. Why is everyone obsessed with the frozen purple pie they've had a hundred times? Is it me? Maybe I'm not the baker I think I am. Come on, Strawberry. A baker needs to believe in themselves. That's what Jay Quincy says in his journal. I didn't know you were reading his old journals. Yep, he was such a kook. He was so protective of his secret recipes, he booby-trapped them to keep them hidden. <laughs> There were booby traps. I'd find them. Trespassing Baker, after my treasures of lime, pass my cupcake test or be trapped for all time. Jay Quincy? Three chances you'll have, so you must be clever. But if you fail, you'll be locked away forever. Strawberry! Ah! Oh, ah! What should we do? Me? How should I know? Everybody! Think about this. Jay Quincy was a business berry, right, Lime? <laughs> a smart business berry doesn't waste ingredients. He would make it simple. Put this bowl on the scale and pour flour until the bowl goes down. Easy. Jay Quincy was an inventor too, right, Lime? <laughs> well, I won't be out invented by some fancy pants in a top hat. This bad burial hot wire, whatever is locking us in here. Two, still not through. Yeah, so we're doomed. Wait! More than anything, Jay Quincy was a baker. Right, Lime? <laughs> that means it's up to Strawberry. I don't know if I'm the baker I thought I was. The universe gives us talent so we can use them. You're a baker. You're right. Jay Quincy said this was a cupcake test. So let's get baking. Wait, 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 one last thing. Solution to the Purple Pie Man. Step on up to try J. Quincy Cupcakes Classic Apple Grove Compote Cupcake! <laughs> hey, buddy, you in line? Three dozen triple berry cakes? Yep, on it! Woo! We are baking it happen, Custard! <laughs> Oh, look! What fresh new scheme has the Purple Pie Man baked up today to make my life more miserable? I deserve that. I've treated you horribly. Okay. I've come to apologize and say goodbye. You're leaving? I can't compete with your baking. You're just too... good. Me being good doesn't mean you need to quit. All I've ever known is baking. All I've ever loved is pastries. Now, seeing you, 
I realize there's nothing I can contribute to the culinary cosmos. <laughs> oh, fiddle faddle. Wait, wait! I looked up to you once, so maybe we could uh, bake together? Yes! Why didn't I think of this sooner? Partners! Partners? Whoa! No, no, no. I did not... Purpleberry Industries! We can run it together. You help improve my baking, and I show you how to get everything you've ever wanted. Everything? What do you mean? You've worked so very hard. Now put your mind at ease. Focus on your future. Think of the possibilities. Together we're a solid bet. Well, we will be. Together we'll make sure you get everything you've ever wanted. Make your dreams come true. Oh, everything you've ever wanted. Make your cake and eat it too. Come now, let's begin it. With me, the sky's the limit. Everything you've ever wanted. A gift from me to you. Just sign right here. Oh, one tiny little detail. Your truck. You'll have to sign it over to me. The Extraordinary Berry? Technically, it's competition. But once it and you are a part of the Purple Pie family, we're good to go. I don't know. Listen, you want a baking tip? Always use a whisk. But if you want to get ahead, then you'll have to take a risk. We'll make sweets the world will buy. Delicious. We'll take every piece of the pie. Everything you've ever wanted, make your dreams come true. Oh, everything you've ever wanted, make your cake and eat it too. Come now, let's begin it. With me, the sky's the limit. Everything you've ever wanted, a gift from me to you. Picture it and it's all yours. Cooking books and baking tours. Everything that you could want. Your own cafe. Cafe? A restaurant. My own restaurant? Everything you've ever wanted. Make your dreams come true. Everything you've ever wanted. Make your cake and eat it too. Come now, let's begin it. With me, the sky's the limit. Everything you've ever wanted. A gift from me. See you tomorrow, partner. <sighs> There's a stain on your sleeve. Did not see that. <laughs> your contract clearly states that you must be presentable as defined by the CEO of the company. You are in breach of contract and therefore terminated. Oh, and your truck still belongs to me, which means you no longer have a vehicle, which means you can no longer work at the Berry Works. Have a nice day. Can't believe I fell for that. Opening night of Tangerine Smash Sweet Justice. Me, my very besties, and my fave Superberry on the big screen? Does it get any better? Orange is way excited. I hope it all lives up to her expectations. This is the best night of my life! Woohoo! Huck, what are you doing? Strategizing. Do I go hot dog pretzel popcorn candy or candy pretzel hot dog popcorn? I know where I'm starting. A crispy, cheesy, so, Tangerine Drizzle wears glasses, and when she becomes Tangerine Smash, she just wears that little mask and no berry recognizes her. Her vibe is totally different. Tangerine Drizzle is a clumsy, mild-mannered recorder. Tangerine Smash is... Worst super berry ever. That's right, Clafu team. Pineapple Clafuti streaming live from Tangerine Smash. Sweet justice. Expectations? More zero than hero. Cheesy story. Cheap effects. And worst of all, a girl as a hero. <laughs> uh, if he doesn't like Tangerine Smash, why is he even here? Um, where's Blueberry? What's so weird about a ketchup and jalapeno swirl cone? <sighs> I guess tonight the universe wants me to embrace the simplicity of vanilla. Blueberry! Blueberry? These cosmic citrus rays that gave her powers are not scientifically accurate. Uh, popcorn and candy! Hmm, pop candy? Or crunchy corn? Uh, 
Tangerine smash? <laughs> more like tangerine crash. Hit subscribe for more Clefu content. <laughs> Blueberry, where could she be? Tamarillo, this journey has brought me to the rise end. Apricot, my heart is the rind. Having fun? <gasps> Tonight was supposed to be perfect. Tangerine smash with my friends, but everything is going wrong. Things always go wrong for Superberries. Bad guys, disasters. What would Tangerine Smash do right now? Rhyme, just enjoy the movie. I'll explain everything later. Huck, obviously pop candy sounds better. Eat quieter. And Lemon, put the tools away. What is that? The Toxic Boxer 2000. Next time dude kicks my seat, he goes flying. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> You're just being rude, so please put your phone away. And girls make awesome heroes. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> now that is one super berry. Holy donut, that was awesome. Told ya. Way better than I expected. Huh? When Tamarillo left Apricot for the Infinite Blender, then found out Apricot was his long lost math tutor. <gasps> so deep. Yeah, I think you were in the wrong theater. Oh. Uh, anybody want to see Tangerine Smash again? <laughs> yeah. 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 Aw, my top candy. Sorry. This small town berry is finally figuring out life in the big city. Time for another perfect day. Here we go with the flow, come on, no time to rest. What can I say? I'm on my way to be the very best. This is who I set out to be here. I finally feel like I can be me here. Always something new to whisk me off my feet. Everything is golden, life is pretty sweet. I'm on my way, hey! what more to say? Hey! Life is better than a fresh souffle. It's a very perfect kind of day. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. Good morning. went viral, but please, please don't call us famous. <laughs> We're just regular. He means me. The peculiar purple pie man? Okay, keep it together, Strawberry. He's just one of the biggest bakers in the city and one of your personal idols. <laughs> no big deal, don't freak out. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry Shortcake. I have such a huge... <laughs> uh, no autographs. Too busy with this. Where did that come from? I give you the crown jewel of my empire, my flagship purple pie shop. Wait, you working here with me? That's fantastic. See, 
my name is Strawberry Shortcake, and no I... No time for fanberries. I'm not a fanberry. I'm a baker, like you. Maybe you saw this video where I... <laughs> you are nothing like me. Snortflake, was it? It takes more than some silly video to make some berry a baker. Pudding boy! Let's inspect my shop. It's shortcake, actually. <gasps> what a perfect day, am I right? Met my baking hero. Sure, he doesn't know my name or think I'm a baker. Cool, 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 cool. But this is totally great. <laughs> Who doesn't love a brand new friendship challenge? <laughs> Do either of you have any sour sauce? Ew, that weird prickly fruit? It may look prickly, but it's gonna taste delicious in the sour sop sponge cake I wanna bake. It's out of season. You're not gonna find it anywhere in the city. Huck, what are you doing? I saw some prickly fruits while doing a gig in... Fruit Lake Alley. Fruit Lake Alley? What's Fruit Lake Alley? It's a secret market that sells impossible to find ingredients, including out of season fruit. Run by the sneakiest berries around. They'll sell you a pie and then steal the filling. Bad news. Shortcakes hasn't lived in Big Apple City as long as we have. She thinks every berry is as nice as she is. Fruit like Alley sounds adorable! We're, We're going, going with, with her. her. Hey, Caramella. Uh, why you gotta use my name up? Sorry, Caramella. This is Strawberry Shortcake, Orange Blossom, and Raspberry Tart. This is Caramella Eclair. Her dad runs... <laughs> what do you want? And can you pay? I... I woke up this morning and I said to myself, so let's make a sponge cake, Boa, guy. And so I looked at my rest of <laughs> up, and yeah. She's nice. Watch. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I got. I got a thing. You want a thing? I got a thing. Hey, kid. Want to buy an egg beater? Oh, thanks. But I've already got this. <laughs> These berries will swindle us any way they can. I'm sure that's not true. They seem nice. That guy's selling melons. Hollow melons. Well, that cake looks delicious. Frosted with toothpaste. <gasps> I'm starting to think these berries might not be trustworthy. <sighs> the crumb father of Fruit Leg Alley. Also, my dad, Caramel Tartufo. Mm, my sweet Caramella tells me you're looking for a sour sop. Very difficult to obtain. Luckily, I have a batch that just came in from Banana Beach for a price. Well, my friend won't pay a nickel over market value. We didn't come here to get cheated. Before we continue and I respond to your disrespect, give me a moment to sample this banana bread made from my mama's delicious recipe. <coughs> this is not my mama's fluffy banana bread! Until the baker gets it right! Fruit Lake Alley is closed! Everybody out! Uh, Overmix batter. I can fix that. Why would you do this for me? Just trying to bake the world a better place one treat at a time. Huh? You've done me a kindness today, Strawberry Shortcake. This is what my mama used to make. The sour sop is yours. You're all welcome in Fruit Leg Alley anytime as my special guests. There you go. See, berries always do the right thing if you just... Hey! Where's my sock? Yo, Dan, yes! Put it back! We definitely would have cheated her if she hadn't won my dad over. Yo, keep an eye on your friend. She's way too trusting. <laughs> Berryworks is going all out for our Frightful Fright Festival. Every berry is feeling the spooky spirit. <laughs> well, almost every berry. Everything okay? Ah! Oh, sorry. 
Um, I know we want to make our Fright Festival super spooky, but my Barioki cart and I aren't going to be much help. I think Frightfall is kind of scary. Oh, huck you, sweet, sweet summer berry. Frightfall doesn't have to be scary. What's important is that every berry has fun and buys lots of art terrifying tasty treats. Sorry, just focus on the fun instead of the frights. That's what matters. <gasps> Here comes every berry. Happy Bright Ball! Where are they going? Survive the graveyard of losers below and come get your Fright Ball Fright Exclusives! Purple pumpkin pies, purple pumpkin muffins, purple pumpkin smoothies, purple, the official color of Fright Ball! Graveyard of losers? Fine! We'll show every berry we're having way more fun down here! <laughs> All right? <laughs> Oh, how? Fun instead of frights. That's it. Anybody know what he's talking about? Yeah, here we go. Oh, listen, every berry, it's a scary time of year. But don't freak out, cause you've got nothing to fear. Tricking out the tunes we got. We're throwing a party and it's gonna be sweet. Go oh, oh, the ride, it's a scary okey night. Go oh, oh, the ride, it's a scary okey night. Pass the microphone. Let the music grow as it flows, you will see. No need to feel like scared tonight's about feeling free. We're rocking and we're rolling and we're feeling the beat. Yeah, come on and join the party. Underneath the full moonlight. Hey now, DC, tonight is unforgettable. Be sure that you don't miss, cause that would be regrettable. The music is a magic, and the magic shines bright. Don't be afraid, because this party goes all night. Pass the microphones, and every berry join the fun. We're gonna scary okay till the night is done. Up, 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 right. It's a scary okay night. into the spirit. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. That's finished. Raspberry and I joined forces for a special pear a berry pie. We have so many orders, we can't leave to deliver them. Luckily, I uh, know a berry. Who has two thumbs and a berry -okey wagon that makes deliveries? This berry, right here. <laughs> no way. What? Puck is very reliable. <laughs> this order goes to Fruit Leg Alley. Nothing can go wrong with Caramel Tartufo's pies. Luckily, I know a berry. No, I'm too busy. And also, no! Please, Fred, I need some very smart, punctual, and fabulously responsible to keep an eye on. Come on, Wheel. I know she's just flattering me to get what she wants, but it doesn't mean it's not true. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to follow my plan exactly to get these pies delivered on time. No questions, no conversation, no... Huck. <gasps> no unscheduled stops! Mr. Mangosteen was just telling me foxberries are in season! We don't have time for foxberries. Okay, let's get... Huckleberry, where are the pies? Give us back our pies! Please! So, how's it going? Completely under control. Really? 
Okay, if we take Cinnamon Street... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and then I said, Cheese, mister, you gouda fooled me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hawk. So funny and helpful. Here, I bought extra nutmeg. My way of saying thank you. Huckleberry! Look, Brad, Mrs. Crumb Cake just gave us thank you, nutmeg. Oh, does she have any focus on your job, Ginger, to go with it? I don't think that's a real spice. Come on. Pain. Am I being punished? I feel like I'm being punished. It's okay. I'm sure Mr. Tartufo will understand. I don't understand. To say I've been waiting all day would be an understatement. Sir, we could give you excuses. But life's real adventure is the journey. So we made sure these pies went on an adventure so big that you would taste their journey in each bite. I accept your nonsensical answer. I will consider our business concluded. Okay, let's get going. Uh, Mr. Tartufo, do I smell bilberries? Good nose. These bilberries recently fell off the back of a truck. Please take some on your way out. Awesome! What took you two so long? I'm sorry, I tried, but he just kept being him. Why is he your delivery, Barry? What ingredients did we need for tomorrow's pies again? Nutmeg, bilberries, and foxberries. What's that have to do with any? That is why. Thanks, Huck. Don't thank me. Thank my berry bestie, Brad. If it wasn't for him, who knows where I would have ended up. How? Don't worry, buddy. I'll teach you to be a delivery berry just like me. Great! So you two can be our delivery berries again tomorrow, right? No! He yes. means yes. The mom's alive! I was literally gone five minutes. I mean, it all started out simply enough. Are you sure about this, Orange? Totally! My dad uses this momentum mixer every berry bounty banquet for his chunky gravy. It should work out great for your strawberry foam. Ooh, I need a big batch for Honeydew Sorbet's birthday. Oh, I have to pick up some strawberries. But I will be back in five minutes. Leave it to me. You get perfect foam, I get a great workout. Just tap me on the shoulder when you get back. I'll be in the zone. Uh... You missed the trash can. Oh, did I? <sighs> Don't worry. I've got it. Gee whiz. Thanks, neighbor. <sighs> <laughs> Sour grapes, can I interest you in my new poppin' papaya cone? Papaya ice cream and a whole lot of firework flakes. My treat. Free. Why? The universe told me you should have it. <laughs> huh. I give you the embiggening ring. Imagine how many drinks we'll get from one embiggened fruit. Are you sure it won't, uh... <sighs> Only one way to find out. Whoa! Can I try one? Sure. Just don't switch it to shrink. That's still in beta testing. <gasps> Let me go grab my tools. Where did you get that cone? Blueberry gave it to me for free. Niece, how many times must I tell you? We don't support local businesses, even if it's free. Say hello 
out. Ugh. Um, hi! <gasps> Anything interesting happen while you were in the zone? I was just whisking the foam! Firework flakes? And beginning ray? And that banana peel. Banana peel? Where's the purple pie man? <laughs> Please! I had nothing to do with this. Huh, the shrink feature works. Score! I demand to be returned to my normal pie man stature! Well, okay. But we should probably clean up first, though, right? <laughs> oh, how dare you! You'll never get away with this! Once I'm no longer sprinkle-sized, there will be a reckoning! I... Oh! Wow! Oh, no! This is horrible! Hey, Lemon, do you have any extra ah. of those? Oh. Ooh! Okay, what is happening? <gasps> Lemon! Fusion Mary wants to interview you about your inventions! That's awesome! Also, what's Fusion Berry? It's the technology and innovation website. Every tech head in the city reads it. And that makes you nervous? They want me to talk about one of my inventions. You love talking about how everything should be bigger, stronger, more powerful. To my friends. Not to some science stranger. Morning. <gasps> you should do it. Me? I don't know anything about your inventions. But you're so good at talking and words and stuff. Come on. Hey, Barry, good rotation on Earth's access to you. I plump put it for Fusion Barry. You must be the incomparable Lemon Bragg. <laughs> I'm not Lemon. This is Lemon. Pleasure to meet your intellect. Oh, and uh, of course, formalities are an unnecessary precursor. Please, show me your best innovation. No. I know, right, Lemon? Who can pick from so many great inventions? I mean, there's the Dream Clean 3000. <laughs> Bitch exploded. Oh, the Sparkberry Turbo Cooler. Oh, yeah. Um, the Cake Nader? <laughs> so many Cake Naders. Great inventors are always trying and failing. That's inventing. What's your neural noggin working on now? Oh. Oh, that's a uh, lemon. What are you doing with my cat? I call it the Kitty Cannon! Oh, marvelous. Such precision. Such <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, might you have any inventions that perhaps are less of the exploding variety? Uh... <gasps> yes! She does! Ta-da! My very, very oven! Oh, it's an oven. Not just any oven. It's got a, um, well, it's actually it's hooked up to the... Well, it's pink. Oh. Strawberry is a really good baker and has to serve lots of customers. This is custom made bigger for maximum bakage. And extra racks inside and it's hooked up to the truck's Sparkberry energy intake so it's extra powerful, just the way Strawberry looks. Just to be clear, not all my inventions are pink. I knew she had it in her. Perhaps a demonstration of baking might be in order? Fresh from my one-of-a-kind lemon meringue made oven, I call it a galaxy cake. That was galactically good. Lemon, thank you for an illuminating afternoon. I'll post the article tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Not bad for some berry who doesn't like talking about herself. I'm glad Strawberry was there to speak up for me. But I'm also glad she has no idea how to talk about tech stuff. Help me figure out how I like to express myself. Outstanding oven helps Strawberry Shortcake bake it big in the city. Lemon, I am so sorry. I shouldn't have talked so much. That article is fantastic. It's all about my oven, not me. And the oven looks amazing. It sure does. Maybe more of your inventions should be pink. Don't push it, Shortcake. It's Bite of the City. The Peculiar Purple Pie Man has a special holiday announcement. Indeed, Kiki. Buy one of my frozen purple pies, and if you find one of these five tokens baked inside, 
you for a month's supply of my new frosted mini pies. Aw, the purple pie man's feeling the winter swirl spirit. We should buy a pie. I won't buy it because I don't buy it. He's cheating. I know it. How? The tokens are in the pies. You aren't putting the tokens in the pies? Of course not. Why should I give away a month's supply of mini pies? Because that's what you said on TV. Niece, we let the customers think they can win, so they'll buy more pies. It's a victimless crime. Every berry wins, except the customers. So what about the tokens? Lock them in the register after the shop closes. And don't forget the alarm. I don't need some dishonest berry stealing a token to collect like pies I have no intention of baking. Wow. We need to get those tokens and get them into some pies. But we can't do it alone. We need to put together a crew. We need a berry who knows her way around fairy works. The compass. So, uh, is there a way into the purple pie shop? That isn't the front door. Yep, there's an air shaft leading right to it. We'll need a berry who knows tech. The brainy build anything strong enough to suspend a berry in the air. Automatic licorice dispenser. Yippee pie yay, berries. We need a berry that's light, fast, graceful. The feather. You, uh, mind being upside down? Does this answer your question? And a berry to watch our backs. The eyes! I can see the past, the present, and the future. Just waiting for Sour to leave, then Orange can snag the tokens. Over. Huh. is gone, but there's some scary purple lasers on the floor. Careful, Orange. I've got this! Bingo! Well, that was easy. Uh -oh. I can't believe it worked! It almost didn't. Good thing Sour Grapes left the tokens out for Orange. Huh? Let's give Kiki Key Lime a call. Jingle bells, snort cake smells. Oh! I can't believe Sunberry found all five of your tokens. What? That can't be. Oh, yeah, it can. No, 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 there's been a mistake. I got the tokens. Give me my pies. They're still my pies, and I won't give them away if I don't want to. <clears throat> oh, you, sir, I didn't help Mommy. <laughs> Claire's dad runs some shady business in Fruit Leg Alley. Not the kind of berry you want to mess with. That's why we gave her the tokens. Mission accomplished, berries. We're a pretty good crew. My tinsel team, the Strawberry Six. Or maybe the Shortcake Seven. It's bite of the city. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing a little soiree in the clubhouse so we can all watch Kiki Key Lime Super Sweet New Year's Eve Special! We're just hours from the countdown and a live performance from Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairy! I love the Berry Fairy! <gasps> My argument's a legendary contrary berry! I can't wait until midnight when the gumball drops in time spare. Or right here. It's a Mecha Mini Jumbo Dropper. Sink to the big one in time pair. Eleven, that's great. But there's only one place I want to be tonight, and that's right here with my fairy besties. Strawberry, we have to go now. Raspberry, what are you talking about? Check your phone. Kiki Key Lime invited the two of us to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> but we made these plans, and... Do not even worry about it. The universe and Kiki want you there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> this is all very sweet, but we have to go! Best New Year's Eve ever! 
Kiki will be here shortly. Help yourself to craft services. <gasps> Look at us. Backstage craft services. Waiting for Kiki Key Lime. We have arrived. This is our destiny. <laughs> huh. Our destiny is kind of cold. Well, I'm sure K -K -K Kiki just needs to recover from those bright lights on stage. Besides, it's not that cold. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little cold. There they are. Strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart. I'm so glad you can make it. We are going to have so much fun. Tell me absolutely everything you've been up to. Well, we were so excited to come here because we knew that you Sherry Bobbleberry is going to be late. She can't be late. We can't postpone midnight. <sighs> Sorry, girls. Need to handle this tiny thing. Then it's all us. You're going to love it up on that stage. I'm sure she'll be right back. Ever wanted. We're almost ready for you. In just a few minutes, you'll be standing next to Kiki and waving. Won't that be the best New Year's ever? Best New Year's ever. Right. Okay, maybe tonight's not perfect. It's cold and Cherry Bumbleberry was late. But the two of us are gonna get to stand on stage near Kiki Key Lime. Every fairy will see us up there. What could possibly be better than this? Well. It's almost gumball drop time! There's Kiki! But where's Raspberry and Shortcakes? Shouldn't they be with her? Nah, they had better places to be. Huh? You're back? The universe did not prepare me for this. W what happened? Well, we told Kiki that we really appreciated her invite, but there was only one place we wanted to be tonight, and that's right here, with our very besties. Aww. Aww. Besides that gumball and times pair, not nearly as impressive as a mecha mini gumball dropper. Ten, Hurry up, it's time! Eight! Seven! Okay, three, you're right. Five, this four, is better. Three, <laughs> I know. Two, two one! one. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon! My secret is just the right amount of icing with a cute little swirl for the cherry to sit on. This is exactly the kind of specificity my game needs. Totally. I'm always up for new adventures, and helping out on a baking game sounds super fun. Oh, it will be. Until the cupcake comes to life and bake good goes bad. Baking bad cupcake apocalypse. It's gonna be epic! I gotta go. Meeting some other berries at Starfruit Express later. Did that little berry say Starfruit Express? Why don't we all go too? Starfruit! <gasps> nice! Yes! What is Starfruit Express? <gasps> Only the coolest roller skating rink ever! You go ahead. I've got things to do that are things. Shortcakes? Spill it. Fine! I can't roller skate at all. Total disaster! So go on without me, because nothing is getting me to put wheels on these feet. Ah, bad idea! Big mistake! Huge! Didn't you just tell Applebite you were always up for new adventures? I ran adventures without tiny wheels on my feet! I'm sure you're not that bad. Ah! Ah! I know never gives up. Well, this one does, so just go on without me. I'll just hold you back. I'm a lost cause. Hey, you're always helping any berry who needs it. Yeah, so? So, even the berry who's always helping others is allowed to get help once in a while. Life's not always easy. We're not gonna win them all.
天白又下。